Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to about um, evolution. And this one says that, what does Islam say about um, evolution um, theory? And this was done by Abdul Rahim Green. I believe that this is going to be a very interesting um, video. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So let's get down to this video and check this out. I'm wondering about what Islam says about the evolution theory. Yes. About how, uh, sorry, um, I'm wondering about uh, what Islam says about the evolution theory, mm. about uh, animals and people having changed, for example, that dinosaur existed. Yeah. Okay. Brothers and sisters, um, I don't. I could, you know, I could actually easily give a whole lecture on this, okay? okay? Um, but obviously, we don't have time. So yeah. very, very briefly, okay. let's hear. It I want say. to say something to the Muslims, actually, first in regards to the theory of evolution. Yeah. You know, I don't think it does us any credit, and it won't help you, to simply mock and make fun of the theory of evolution. Okay. I personally believe that the theory of evolution is a very powerful idea and it's powerful because it's simple and it does seem to explain some phenomena that we see and that can be observed in the world in which we live and in the fossil record and so on and so forth, right? Do Muslims believe in evolution? Well, I wouldn't say that it's a point of, certainly it's not a point of view or a, a, it's not a principle of our religion that we have to believe in the theory of evolution, right? Certainly not. So do we believe it in the sense that it's a dogmatic thing that we have to believe in? Certainly not, right? However, Muslims by and large do believe that the scientific methodology as a methodology is a good and sound methodology, okay? And that if science conclusively proves something to be true, that is not something, as Muslims, we can ignore. Now, Muslims, many Muslims today would still argue that the theory of evolution is not conclusive. There are still many holes and discrepancies that have not been dealt with concerning this theory. And there is lack of evidence in order to fully say that we can really be sure that this theory has taken yeah. place. However... In spite of that, by and large, we could say that there is nothing that contradicts the idea that creatures could have or have evolved through small stages hmm. into the complex different organisms that we find in the world today. Hmm. There's nothing in principle that says we can't believe in that. Okay? In fact, the Quran teaches us how the human being is developed through stages of embryonic development. And those stages are different. Mm. Okay, so the stage of Nutfa is different from the stage of Alaq, which is dif different from the stage of Mudra, mm. okay, which is different from the state in which we finally look like a human being. So Allah, in a sense, has developed us through distinct stages in our mother's wombs. Yeah. So the idea of development through different distinct stages is not an impossibility. In fact, it's a reality that the Quran acknowledges in human embryonic development. So how about this idea applying to life in general? Well, it's certainly a possibility. However, I make a proviso. There are two things that we will say we cannot agree with. As Muslims, we can't believe that these, are, these processes are completely devoid from and separate from the power and the guidance of God. Mm. So if evolution has taken place, it's because God is the evolver. God is the one who is evolving the creation. Okay. In other words, we can't accept the premise that these are purely natural processes 
that don't have anything to do with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the knowledge of the Creator. So, do we believe they are, it's that got really randomly things evolved? No, we can't accept that. Secondly, I stick to the, although there are other opinions, but I don't agree with them, yeah. I stick to the orthodox opinion that God has created the human being miraculously. Okay. That Adam <laughs> was created in a way that is miraculous, just as Jesus was created in a way that was miraculous. Jesus was created without a father, no father. God created Jesus miraculously in the womb of Mary, and God just needs to say be, and something is. So Jesus was human. He was a human being. We don't believe that because God created him miraculously without a father, therefore God was his father. No. Okay? No, that doesn't follow. God just created Jesus without a father. Okay? Similarly, God created Adam without a mother or a father. Distinct from whatever processes were going on, in the world at that time, mm. God introduced Adam into the order of the world in a miraculous way. Mm. So do we believe that human beings descended along with monkeys from a common primate? No, I don't believe that Islam can accept that and I stick with the orthodox position. Does that mean that there could not have been human-like creatures existing? That is certainly possible. Why not? Because what makes us different, actually, as humans, there are some differences, but the most fundamental difference is that we, what makes us different from the animals is that we have the choice to submit to God or not. That's what makes us different. Not just some physiological things, right? Whether I have, you know, I don't know how my arms are, or my legs are, or my nose is, or whatever. No. My fundamental thing that makes me human and that makes me different from the animals is that I can choose to submit to God or not. I can choose to believe in and obey and worship the Creator or not. Mm. That's what makes us different. Mm. Yeah? So I do believe, as the Quran teaches, and that's how I literally understand it, that God created Adam miraculously and God created Eve from Adam. Okay? But does that mean that evolution uh, did not take place or no it doesn't Islam does not have anything to say about that definitively one way or the other so it's certainly possible so I hope that answers that question and Allah knows best hmm. that's a very interesting um, video by Green by <laughs> some of the things you were saying concerning the theory of um, evolution and the one thing I should say in a sense concerning this is that's why it's still known as the theory it has not even reached the principle or for us to say that it's actually a law, which means that um, it is generally in a sense, accepted, but then that's why it still remains as theory. Because what if you look at it in a sense, critically, despite in a sense, the fact that, of course, there might be possibility that, of course, we are all aware of some, some of the religious in a sense, scriptures that gene we are living in a sense, on this uh, very earth, in a sense, before God decides to create man and then God created in a stand Adam in a stand after in a stand this gene decided in a stand to you know to shed blood with very corrupt people and all that and God decided in a stand what to destroy them all and leave only one which is in a stand the devil who decided in a stand to rebel in a stand against God now when you look at it as a human of course we are fully aware that god created us and then gave us in a sense a will to decide in a sense to whether to worship him or not and of course those are the some of the things in a sense that tend to differentiate us in a sense from animals why because we have this ability to reason our sense of reasoning we can be able to reason and can be able to like tell in a sense what is right in a sense and what is wrong we can be able to differentiate some of those things in a sense that you know separate us from the animals but then when we come on in a sense to talk about this evolution you understand critically you realize that you know for many years has come 
many years you know, have gone but yet the evidence you know, of seeing one thing to change to another you understand is not happening and that's why of course you could still see you understand the chimpanzee still remain as the chimpanzee humans still remain as humans so why can't the human itself you understand, evolve to another thing too you see those are the, some of the things that could have proved you understand the existence of the evolution but then the truth about it is that god have just created us just like how he states in his word that what he has created us both man and woman in his own image and that's why he says you understand, in genesis you understand that word god created man in his own image and that's why i used to interpret you understand quran chapter 3 verse 59 that was saying that you understand example of um jesus you understand to god is edam right something else so now the muslims you understand feels like what that very passage you understand means is that god created you understand jesus from those just like how he created in a stand Adam in a stand from those but well everyone is based on in a stand maybe probably the Islamic faith that's why you understand they see it that way but based on in a stand on Christianity they see it in a stand on a different dimension and of course you understand everyone is free to contribute in a stand as far as this video in a stand is concerned and um, of course I would like to also love to learn from all of you too of course i do not know it all of course some of you could even know better than i too and i would like to see your comment and thought at the comment um session so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction you should like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye